Welcome back to the Rod Peterson Show here in Hour 2. I'm Darren DuPont. Rod Peterson is in Texas, and he's busy hanging out with Snoop Dogg. LeBron, I keep saying that because he was at the Spurs game, and they were there. LeBron was playing, and Snoop Dogg was uh, he was in the crowd in San Antonio for the Spurs game the other night. I uh, saw the picture of him with the Longhorn. He had that up, too, outside the AT&T Center. Fake. It was fake. It was fake. It was about two feet high, too. Uh, but uh, he's there giving it a kiss. Yeah. It, at at, at first sense. glance, it does look real, but then when you look at it with any type of length at all. Because you know Rod's in there with it. You're oh, like, yeah. That's not, I didn't, yeah. He's not the guy to be right <laughs> in there in his flip flops and shorts. <laughs> yeah. Standing on one foot. Uh, not no. like ready to run. Not happening. But he's using our new partners at Seat Giant. Uh, you can go to U.S. sporting events concerts in Canadian dollars. Use the promo code RP Show with Seat Giant to get a special discount for RP Show fans. So get your tickets across the United States and Canada in Canadian dollars, and you'll save using the ha- the promo code RP Show. And Rod did the other night going to the Spurs game. So uh, thank you to our friends at Seat Giant for that. More from social media. Uh, first, let's get to this. Breaking news. The Saskatchewan Rattlers, member club of the Canadian Elite Basketball League, announced on uh, Tuesday today that Greg Jockums will be stepping down as general manager and head coach to assume the role of basketball advisor within the organization after leading the Rattlers to their inaugural CEBL championship. He's stepping away from full-time duties to focus on his family and business. So uh, wishing Greg Jockums all the best. A wonderful ambassador for the game when a U sport championship with the Saskatchewan Huskies and now taking the Saskatchewan Rattlers and winning that national title in the Canadian Elite Basketball League. But a Kauai. Yeah, one I'm and done. Yeah. One and done. You're welcome. But uh, going out on top. But no, great, great guy. Great guy for the community too. So wishing him all the best. And the coaching search for the Rattlers is on now. So we'll be uh, anxiously following and awaiting the news of who might be taking over the program. Uh, and there'll be a few names that will pop their way out. This tweet came in. I saw this uh, uh, from Sean Churchill. ESPN NHL player, or, or sorry, ESPN's NHL players poll says Winnipeg is the one city NHL players dread. And here's the quote. Winnipeg, it's always cold, tough rink to play in. It's just dirty. You walk around the city and you feel like you need to wash your face after you go outside. So nothing about it is very exciting. Is there a name to that? Ouch. That's from an NHL player. No name? No so, name. Yeah, no. To, to play against or to play for or both? I don't know. Right. I'm assuming As a free this is, agent, is that a place you don't want to go? I assume it's visiting players on the road. Yeah, the and, Shark Club is right there. You can't complain about that. Yeah. You see, now, if you're describing a, a, a hockey player, that's what you want. Down, dirty in the corners, tough to play against. So... I think they mean that in a negative way, but I'm going to spin it and be very, yeah, it's a hard working community. You work hard. You got to wash your face when you come home from being out in the grind all day. Thank you. Yes. I think that is Winnipeg. See, probably someone that played in New York or L.A. or one of those big city fancy schmancy and they get their, they drive up to their house and they get a valet to park their car and they don't really parent their kids that are going to gun down their school and yeah. because they don't have parents. But anyways, um, I didn't, yeah. Well, I didn't so play. yeah, I didn't, work hard. I didn't play any pro sports and I didn't tr- you know travel to all the biggest cities across North America to play sports back in the day, as we like to call it. But with before, you know, smartphones and all this stuff. I don't know what it was like. I mean, you'd go to the one club that you, you, everybody would know about on the road or, you know what I mean, with the team and you do your thing. Now, I would imagine, I've got an Uber, I've got Skip the Dishes, I know every Twitter, i got every little hot spot that's happening, so there's so much to do and I can check out this, this great place and this new restaurant and I can see these people and I can do all these things. Is that what life is like on the road now for the players? And they go to Winnipeg and there's not all these sexy things to do? I don't know. When I when I played, we flied uh, commercial. We didn't, uh, you know, now I think they fly in and they fly out. There's no opportunity to do anything. And I'm pretty sure it's like that in the NHL. After the game, you load the bags up and, and go to the airport and get out of there. But uh, I'm not disagreeing with the guy. It is a hard work in town. <laughs> and uh, they have hard winters and they get beat up on quite a bit. Yeah, that's an accurate description, but it's how you take it. I'm going to take it as a huge positive. Yeah. To the Facebook wall, Devin says, they've been to Winnipeg, or they've been to Buffalo, right? 
And Tom Halleck, as you can see on the screen now, whole hum, the freaking Sharks yipped about Winnipeg two years ago. A whoopee ding, as we used to say in the old hometown. So, and Todd on the Facebook wall says, very Winnipegish. So there you go. And Dan, Dan Horner mentioning yeah. on the Facebook, well, Regina needs to needs a standalone shark club. Is there is there something in Saskatchewan that prohibits a place to eat right next to the play to watch right next to where you're going to watch a yeah. game? Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's it's like I want to I want to open like so a great, taco right? stand, anything. Come and eat my food. Like a, a bar attached to Mosaic Stadium would go wild. You go up to Saskatoon, you almost don't want to go to the game because there's no yep. That's there's no place to have a pregame beer because yes. you can't drive. Like it's, uh, I, I I love commerce. I love the opportunities that are there. There's got to be someone in place. I'm not the smartest guy around to think a taco shop next to a stadium is a good idea. Mike, that's my thing. In I think in Saskatoon where Sastel Center is, way out. I think they tr- the idea maybe was to build a little community around it. But there should be some bars and shopping. I'm pretty some sure it's, it's a zoning thing that there's uh, nothing there. This is politics, man. We're I know. The politics and that's my f- reason why it should be a downtown arena. Um, right in the Toys R Us lot there. And Toys R Us isn't even around. You right, put it right there. You got all 2nd Avenue, 1st Avenue. You can go yeah, for beers, right burger. Right on the side of the tra- rain, train track so that you can never get there. No, not up by the tracks. <laughs> down by the idea. river. Down by the river. Oh, and, and, and right, by the, Regina, right across the bridge down by in the Saskatoon. River? And then you'll get, it's very simple, right? You go to the Congress. You go to the different places, the, all the hot spots in Saskatoon. It's like, hey, 40 bucks. In theory. 35 see, bucks. You get a burger, a beer, and but, a ticket to see, the game. Now, we're talking about, I'm a fan of putting the stadium here and putting stuff around it and creating a new commercial Think about, you, you've been to a Arizona Coyotes? game they got the football stadium or or even the uh, cardinals game the football stadium is close the hockey rink is close and then the 20 bars down this little yeah. stretch and and lounges nobody's that you can just you go nobody you go early yeah. you stay late that, that that's exactly. what i think would work and these bars only work when there's something going on in the stadium so you got to get something going on in the stadium winnipeg's yeah. football stadium doesn't work but their hockey rink is great it does yes. shark clubs attached you're watching rod peterson on demand For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.